Has she said anything? No. Nothing since we found her. How did she get back here? Security log says she used a code, but how she got one, I have no clue. She must have gotten it from one of the staff. Who? I don't know. That's your job. Do you think he has anything to do with it? That's what I need to find out. Gonzales, we gotta go! So what's your plan? To ask some questions. Make sure your team is recording this. We'll need to review and debrief for any other potential incidents. Yes, ma'am. She's stirring. Give her another dose. Pull this up in full. I want to see this. Sophia, how did you get back here?
You shouldn't be out of bed. Where am I? You're... Guard. Take a seat. Who is he? Gonzalez. Good. What happened? You were in surgery for three hours. We had to amputate portions of your arm, otherwise you would have bled to death. Are you finished? I need to check your arm. But all things considered, the damage is stable. How long have I been out? What happened? What happened? Someone will come by in the morning. Wait! 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 Hello. Good morning, Miss Gonzalez. I know it's been rough, but you're safe now. This is a secured facility. You're home. We took him last night. What happened? Yes, Mr. Callahan. He transferred out. Full recovery, I'm told. That didn't look like recovery to me. Well, not gonna lie. For some coming back from the field, recovery is a relative term. Now, do you need help changing? Sorry. You remind me of my brother. Is he a soldier? Yes. He was. I'm sorry. That's why I'm here now, doing what I do, to help where I can. Once you get settled in, I think you'll like this place. You're here to relax and recover. You all have earned it. A thank you for your service. Well, I'm not exactly looking to retire. Oh, no. We're much more than that. The Harmony program is to help you with the next step, whatever that is. Are you civilian? Yes, the whole staff is. No ranks or orders here. You just gotta follow your care plan. Well, this is Patient Avenue. Down at the end on the left are the labs. Through these double doors is the common room. Three hot meals a day, all served in there. And up a little further on the right is the gym. Now let's go see your room. Cozy. <laughs> Only the essentials. Everything else is cluttered. 
Well, I'll let you get settled in. I believe first thing is reporting to the lab for some standard tests. Oh, one last thing before I go. I need to see you take these. They're for the pain. Nothing hurts. You can thank the anesthesia for that. Believe me, it's gonna hurt big time. Great. I'll see you tomorrow for a checkup. I'll see you tomorrow for a checkup. When did you and Eric first meet? What, you don't have that recorded? I'm assuming breakfast hasn't started yet? Mine has. I quit just before deployment. That's impressive. Actually, it's pretty fucking stupid. Oh, so I'm enabling. I won't tell anyone. Where were you stationed? The eastern section. It was supposed to be security detail, but it ended up being actual combat. How about you? Field intelligence. Where? All over. Kansas. West Virginia, even did a few weeks in uh, Western Nevada. Damn, and you made it out? Mostly. <laughs> I got a little too close to an IED and landed myself here. How long have you been here? It's hard to say, you know, everything's so sterile. It all looks the same. Hmm. It's been a while, though. How'd that happen? Would you believe that clapped too hard? <laughs> No, just a casualty of war. I was one of the lucky ones. That makes two of us. Well, I guess I'm quitting too. Last cartridge. And you let me use it all up? Sophia Gonzalez to radiology. Sophia Gonzalez to radiology, please. Are you Sophia Gonzalez? That would be me. What do they call you over the speakers? Eric. Thanks for the smoke, Eric. I owe you one. I like menthols.
So what are these ones now? Okay, now that that is concluded, can we get some initial reactions? Reaction? To what? It's just random color and sounds. Interesting. Okay, anything else? I don't get it either. Thank God. I feel like I'm going nuts the longer I watch this shit. How long have you been here? Three weeks. You? Just a couple days. Do they do this kind of thing a lot? Yeah. Seems like every day they come up with some new mental test or covered pill. Sometimes both at the same time. Do you know when you'll be released? No clue. Not in any rush, though. You don't want to get out of here? It beats deployment. That's a clean, food's warm. It's the closest thing to a vacation I've ever had. Do you trust them? You ask a lot of questions. Call him recon. Seems like they're helping us. It's hard to trust anyone anymore, you know? I'm here for a reason. When they tell me to go, I'll go. There's a lot they're not telling us. Well, when you figure that out, you let me know. Charles. Sophia. Where were you deployed? I wasn't in the field. I was part of the command team at New York. You were on the ground? Yes, sir. Just on the other side of the river. Hey, hey. None of that sir bullshit in here. Didn't they tell you? Old habits. Sorry. Hey, what happened in New York? Couldn't have gotten worse. Command structure collapsed after the bombings, and we were forced out. Me and my troops were airlifted at the last second. Two dozen soldiers out of 300. I shouldn't be here. You were hurt? No, nah, I wasn't hurt. Higher up said I was suffering traumatic stress. But I know my own head. No. It's not hallucinations or trauma or whatever. Nothing could have prepared you for what happened. How'd you make it out? I knew the area. You have friends there? I lived there before the war. I knew a lot of people that went both ways. Hey, they're Americans just like us. 
We all have to remember that when this is over. I hope we still have a country to put back together. At least the first time was the North versus South, you know? Now it's neighbor versus neighbor. No battle lines, no territory. Just one big fucking mess. These are the amazing meals? I said it was hot. Not good. Can you feel that? Does it hurt? No. Shit. Sorry. Pain is good, though. That means your nerves are recovering. It does look like you have a mild rash. Have you been taking those pills? Everything you give me. Good. That medication's the only thing keeping your body from rejecting the surgery. I thought you said it was for the pain. Yeah, it is. But it's good with all kinds of stuff. How long is my treatment? Um, can't say for sure. Could be a couple of weeks, could be longer. Anyway, you need Dr. Ranson to clear you before you go back to fighting bad guys. That's the woman who checked me in? Yes, Dr. Ranson's head of the administration here. Are there any side effects. What do you mean? Did something happen? No, no. It's just not sleeping well. Some crazy dreams. Just a moment. Sophia, I'm going to order some tests with a psychiatrist. Tell him everything, okay? It's very important that you do that, okay? Sure. How have you been sleeping? Compared to a war zone, pretty amazing. You? Barely at all. Something about this place. Like... Do you ever have, like, vivid dreams? I guess so, yeah. I think that's pretty normal for a soldier, though. Well, I mean, like, really strong, real dreams. I mean, Dreams that feel so real, like they actually happen, even when it's over. 
And I get the feeling this isn't a hypothetical. I must be having trouble adjusting. Sophia, you can tell me. You know that door at the end of the main hall? That leads to the administration area. I had a dream that something bad happened behind it. There was a man screaming. There was blood all over his face. Do you know who it was? He was here when I first came. He was covered in bandages and looked awful. And the next day they said he transferred out and said he had a miraculous recovery. Do you think they're lying? I don't know what I think. That's pretty serious, Sophia. You're right. We shouldn't be talking about this. Where are you going? I've got a psych evaluation. Besides. Check me. So, my parents are back home. Way behind the line. Either of them serve? Yeah, my dad did. But he retired before all this. Did he pressure you into joining? I mean, he wanted me to join. And I wouldn't have if I didn't want to. And I, I, don't, I don't want to talk about this. Uh, okay, but I feel like we're really getting somewhere here. You wanted to make him... You don't care. Him. You don't care. Of course I care. That's why I'm here. They were really proud of me. Especially my dad. Because I followed him into the service. And I know that meant something to him. Why do you think your dad's opinion is so important? As opposed to your mom's? No! It always has been. No! Stop! There are a lot of things I did. But I know that I made my dad proud. I know that I made them proud. How often do you see this vision of the old man? Barely anymore. But it's not about seeing him. You feel him. Everywhere. Always. In these dreams, how long before Eric started appearing to you? Not long. I think with him being here longer, he may have known what was happening to me before I did. You mean being on the drug regimen longer? Right. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come.
too. What are you doing here? Is this place yours? Yes, it's my mother's, but uh... I remember being so tired in this house. I just stare out for hours, waiting for something to happen. Then my life would just magically change. Did it? Yes, when I left. And now all I want is to be back here. God, why did I leave? It's not right. Wanting to be back? No. This place, it's not... It's not right. That's not supposed to be there. That's not mine. In the mountains. There weren't any mountains. Where is this place? It's happening. This is home. No, this is not the place. I don't recognize this place. Are you okay? No, it's happening. Where is this place? What's going on? Hey, you busy? Yeah, I'm just counting tiles on the ceiling again. Oh, oh, it's riveting stuff. Charles, I um, I wanted to ask you a couple questions, but I gotta warn you, you may sound a little weird. Look, I've already heard about the good word. Religion's just not for me. Charles. Have you felt anything weird since being here? Like having vivid dreams and other people's thoughts? The hell are you trying to say? I know. It sounds crazy and it's scary. But if you've experienced anything... Look, I don't know what you're doing. But I have not had any of that. Charles, I think you have. Shut up! I told you no, Sophia. Just drop it. Why do you think we're here? Why are they keeping you for so long? Because I fucked up! All right, I fucked up. And 300 people are dead because of it. You don't get a medal for that. You don't get a second chance. I know why I'm here. Charles. And you, you need to go. Sophia. We have some sort of connection to each other. It's just this feeling. It's hard to describe. It's like string pulling me to you. No. No, it's less than that. It's like a spider web. Just barely there. And when I follow a strand, it leads me.
to you. Always to you. What is this? What's happening to us? It's this place. It's them. All these doctors, the nurses, all the testing, all the pills. It's the real reason we're all here. All of us. Do you think others have this? Like Charles? Maybe. I've heard voices. And there's this old man. An old man? He's been watching me since I got here. He scares me. I won't let anything happen to you, Sophia. But something already has happened. They want this gift. For what, though? To watch us all. And after that night, we were always connected. When did you know something was wrong with Charles? came to me. He came to you? In a dream? No. No, this wasn't what Eric and I had. If Charles didn't tell you to come back here, then why did you do it? Eric thought we'd find answers. Something's happened to Charles. We've taken him back there. How do you know that? He reached out to me. He reached out? Like us? Yeah, but it was different. I don't think Charles is like us. This was desperate. And I think they killed him, Eric. When was this? Earlier today. What did he tell you? That this place is not safe. And it probably never was. Okay. Calm down. I won't let anything happen to you, Sophia. How can you say that? We have no power in here. Yes, we do. And I think it's time to use it. What are you talking about? We need to find out what happened to Charles. And we need to find out the answers for ourselves. The truth about what's going on here. Everything they're hiding is back there. That's where we need to go. How? The doors have codes. But who has them? I've seen Robinson go back there. I'm sorry I missed last night. Things have been really busy downstairs. But it's good. It's all good. We're really pushing the program forward. Just like you wanted. I wish you could be there with... But this is for the best. You needed your rest. You can't have another breakdown. There's still so many ideas inside that mind. 
We need to think about the future. I do wish you would speak to me. Like before. I'm all alone down there. And you were always so reassuring about the work. What happened was necessary. We both know that. I just wish I dare you say it. Tell me about these dreams. I don't know what's real and what's not. How have you been sleeping? Not good. Okay. We'll add some sleeping pills to the regimen. Tell me... I'm sorry. They, they never told me what it was for. Just calm down. Listen, Julie, we need some help. You need to leave. I know, baby. And I'm sorry about that, okay? Do you remember, Mommy? I never, I never forget you. Good, sweetie. Mama's coming for you, okay? He's yours. Yes. What's his name? Noah. He was young here when I left. He should be reading by now. He looks like you. I'd give anything to be with him now. Where is he now? My mother took him behind the Eastern Line. I'm sure he's safe. I didn't appreciate the time we had together. I didn't want to be a mom. I wasn't ready. I was too scared to have a kid that when I got drafted, I was excited. I couldn't wait to go. Sophia, that's... So don't. It's... It's mine. It's my shit to deal with. But I guarantee that once I'm out of here, no excuses, no running. He's all that matters now. Let's get you back to him.
Charles. You can go fuck yourself, Ransom. Right? Uh, fuck! Fuck you! I know who you are. I know what you do back here. I saw what you did to Charles. I know everything. You think because you've had a glimpse behind the curtain. You know all the secrets of this place. You know nothing. You have nothing. You murdered Charles. Yes, Charles and many others, as you saw. You think you have some secret that'll keep you alive in here? You don't. We know it all. Or we'll know it all. It just takes time. Every movement and every moment of every patient is recorded here. Since the day they arrive until the day we decide to end them. All oh, those people. This is not a place people survive, Sophia. Not even you. Where is Eric? Did you kill him? Like Charles? Well, you've been deceived, Sophia. Horribly. Stop fucking with me! Where is he? There is no Eric, Sophia. What? The old man. Charles said this place is his. Was. Is. Who is he? Much bigger problem than I thought. But why, Eric? To use you and your power to regain control of this place? That's not going to happen. What's going to happen? Guards. Ransom, get her to surgery. Wait. Get her vitals. Come on, people, we're not paid by the hour. Let's get it done. Sophia.
Hello, Sophia. Nurse, please release the patient. Excuse me? Unbind her straps. I won't ask again. Um, of course. Why didn't you tell me about her, Julie? Luckily, we caught her before she caused too much trouble. Still. Dr. Ridson, I don't know Did how you she... give her that code, or did she take it from you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how so she... So she took it from you. I don't know how and she... And yet you did nothing. I'm sorry, it was a mistake. Where the fuck is Gonzalez, people? Stop what you're doing! Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm getting out. Show me the exit. They're not showing you shit. You got three minutes before SAC Team 2 is down here. Show me the goddamn exit, I swear to God. Fuck you, Gonzalez. You're not getting out of here. Do not believe her. She's bluffing. I'm not. Open the fucking door. Pick up the tablet. Show me where. You're going there.
Sophia. Why hasn't she killed you? She needs me. I'm her proof. The only success we've had here. Till you. Why me? You have my gift. You're the only one who can help me. Do you understand now? Why I came to you like this? Yes. You needed to use me. I had to. I couldn't risk losing you. I'm not here for you anymore. What about Noah? Don't say his name. I can get you back to him. How? Oh. My body is as good as dead. Take my consciousness. No. You don't have a choice. She's coming up! Let me in, or we'll both die! She won't keep me here any longer! No! No! 